Hey everybody, it's Moongo here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's video, we are going to be checking out two massive creations. Right underneath me here, we have this huge hovering cargo ship that is fully loaded with containers. And of course, here I am sitting on the tip, it looks kind of dangerous, uh, the tip of a massive crane that we are going to be using, of course, to grab these containers and lower them down. I don't know if you can see that, but way back there, we have little tiny trucks, and those are going to be transferred transporting these containers. Uh, so we're going to start off with the cargo ship. We'll move into the crane naturally by grabbing some of these containers and then we'll ship them off with the trucks. So let's get started. All right, so to start off with this cargo ship, we are going to pretend that this is the crane yard that has just finished piling on all those containers, and we are now ready to go to our destination and drop them off. So as you guys can see though, this thing is absolutely massive. If I zoom out of my character here, you can actually see just the actual size of this entire container ship. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, I will mention though, I did have a bit of a problem, which was that I originally intended this cargo ship to use the buoyancy mod and this thing would actually float on water. Uh, but I think because of the sheer size of it and the amount of blocks that were involved, uh, unfortunately, the mod caused way too much lag and I just couldn't do it. So this turned into a hovering cargo ship. Now, uh, I did keep it relatively simple in design because of the size and the interactive nature of the cargo ship with the crane there. But you can see we can hop onto the deck here and look at this, guys. We can circle around all of these containers containers. Uh, now, I will mention though that, whoa, I just noticed some blocks missing here. That, that's kind of weird. But as I was saying, all of these containers are connected by these pegs right here. Now, I did want to kind of have them all touching each other uh, because it looks a little more realistic when you imagine the picture of a container ship. Uh, but I left these pegs here and they're all connected together so that when you actually go into a crane yard like this, you can actually just disconnect them manually for each container. And of course, that would obviously save on a lot of lag because I did have the idea, you know, what if each of these were free floating or something like that, but clearly that would just destroy the game. Uh, but you can see here is the bow of the ship and that is just a beautiful view right there. All right, so moving down, we are gonna head into the main area of the ship right here. And like I mentioned, guys, this is super simple. I didn't put any fancy kind of cabins or engineering spaces or anything like that just because of the size, like I mentioned. But you can see down here, this is where all of the thrusters are being used. But I am definitely disappointed that I couldn't use the uh, buoyancy mod because uh, the one reason why I wanted to use the buoyancy mod was because if we imagine all of the containers on this ship, had I have used the buoyancy mod, I feel like there would have been a good chance that we could remove a lot of these containers that you see right here, but the actual floating of the ship wouldn't be affected. Uh, but I, I haven't pushed the limits too far, but I imagine if we start to remove these containers from the ship, then eventually the hover mechanism won't work properly because the weight will have changed and then the whole ship will just kind of fly away, which is unfortunate. But all the containers are loaded on. It is time to do the maiden voyage of this ship. Here we go. It's really easy, guys. All you have to do is press the two key and then you will start to go forward and check this out. This looks so awesome. We are now leaving the crane yard. There is only one crane at the yard, but that is okay. And here we go, we are now in the open ocean. So we're obviously just kind of bobbing around, and now we can hop off the seat a little bit. Uh, it is a pretty fast ship, so you'll see, uh, you'll start to kind of hover around a little bit like that, so it's probably best just to stay inside the ship. But this thing does turn very, very easily. You can see we are hanging a very hard left right there, and uh, so we're just gonna pretend that we are traveling across the ocean right now, do do do, and uh, eventually, we will see, oh, there it is, guys. We have arrived uh, at our destination. There is another crane yard ready to receive all of these containers. Uh, so overall, though, this ship looks absolutely fantastic. It's extremely stable. I love the design with all of these containers. And of course, the interactive nature of this build is just so much fun. All right, so I'm just gonna go past this. We're gonna do a big loop and we're gonna put the starboard side to the cranes there. So let's just kind of steer this thing around. You know, I gotta say too, actually, I'm, I'm pretty thankful that there are no waves on this ocean uh, because I can only imagine these containers floating around. It would be a huge disaster. All right, we are coming up to the crane now. Let's see if we can line this up properly. Now, I do have some bow thruster capability on this thing just so we can actually park it properly. Uh, but we're just gonna kind of ease our way up. Here we go. 
All right, we got to be careful here. I'm going to kill the power. We're just going to kind of free float for a moment. I don't want to overshoot our destination. All right, maybe a little bit more. All right, so right about here, I would say this is a good distance um, from one end to the other of the ship. We pretty much have the entire length of the ship up against it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this, the entire thing, to the left just like so. And now if I press the 4 key, you can actually see that the entire ship will just move completely straight across like so. And this is how we are going to get nice and close to that crane. Alright, so that looks really good. I am going to mention though that it's best to be as parallel to the uh, entire thing as best you can because the way this lines up with the actual containers needs to be straight or else you might have some issues when removing them. Uh, but this is the container ship. Now it's time to remove the containers with this bad boy right here. Whoops. All right, so this crane was very interesting to make. It's it's always a challenge to build these large hollow creations, especially when you're trying to put stuff on the lift or if you want to get up there and weld something or work with some of the stuff way at the top. Uh, you have to get pretty creative with the way that you actually build this thing. But overall, really happy with the design. You can see this is using the mod pack train wheels. Now, it's pretty neat actually. You can see I put a train wheel on either side there and how it ended up working out is it created like a little bit of a wheel channel right there. Now, this thing does tend to kind of slide around a little bit, but it never it never really loses its edge. Now, to get up to the top, all you have to do is go to this seat right here. You press the one key and look at this, guys. There is a modded piston right there. It'll shoot you right up to the top of the crane. All right, so now that we're here, though, you can see there are two different seats. Now, this seat right here controls the entire base of the crane that is mounted to those tracks. And then you have the actual crane mechanism that has its own little set of tracks up here as well. So now if we want to move this entire thing, it's really easy. There's just two buttons, guys, and it activates thrusters and it'll move us from side to side just like this. Now you can see that the uh, the entire crane does stay on those tracks very, very well. And I'm honestly surprised at how lag free this is, especially when you're moving this. When you move this, the lag actually goes down, which is really, really awesome. All right, so all you have to do, though, is line up that base down there. You can see where those two logic gates are activating down at the bottom of the crane. Uh, that is a little bit of a gap that's there, and you can use that to line up the containers that are on the ship, just like so. And once you have that lined up, all you got to do is hop right out of that seat there, and hop into the driver's seat here, and drive forward on this thing. Now... This thing does sometimes want to lift up and out of its carriage, um, but I haven't had it actually fall to the ground yet, which is which is really good. All right, so now we are going to make our way over to the actual container ship. So, I mean, pretty much what I do is I just kind of line it up uh, vertically like this, and then I press the 2 key, and that is going to lower the actual pistons right there. Look at that, guys. It is going right next to the container, so we're just going to line that up a bit better just like so all right perfect now once you are in position all you have to do is press the one key and the one key is going to latch up and underneath the container now this is the tricky part though guys so you actually do have to get out of the crane and line yourself up down here with your containers and remove those pegs that we were talking about so we'll just drop that one Come over to this side, remove that one right there, perfect. And then we'll hop over here, this is pretty dangerous work guys. And get rid of that one, and then there is one more peg left to remove, so we'll just get a good angle right here. And there we go, now the container is free floating. So you can see the frames have dropped substantially, uh, but what we're gonna do is lower the seat right back down again, scoot it back on up to the crane, and here we have a little bit of a catwalk that you can use to run back up to the crane. Uh, so this would definitely be a lot easier with a friend uh, who was actually down on the ship ready to disconnect these things if you did want to try and remove every single container. Alright, so now all we have to do though is press the 2 key and look at that guys. It is pulling the container right off of the ship and it's gonna nestle it in right underneath us just like that. And now all you gotta do is wheel yourself back across this way here. And then once you are in position, you can kind of just line yourself up somewhere right here on the main road. And this is where it gets kind of even laggier is when you actually drive a truck up underneath it. So I'm going to grab this truck though. I'm going to do a little lap around those tracks there guys and uh, we're going to get this thing loaded up. 
All right, here we go. We got the truck lined up, ready to go underneath this. Now, here we go, guys. This is where some of the lag really begins. Now, it's unfortunate. I, I tend to make things that are pretty laggy and scrap mechanic, but I am okay with that. All right, so we're going to use the same section that we used to line up with the containers on the ship uh, to line up with this flatbed right here on this truck. So I'm going to back up just a little bit more. The lag is making it pretty difficult. All right, that looks pretty good right there. All right, so we're going to hop out of the truck. Look at this, guys. The frames are killing me right now, but it's worth it in the name of Scrap Mechanic. It is so worth it. All right, so now we're going to press the 2 key again. Watch this, guys. It is going to lower the container down to that truck, and there is a second key that I have that actually extends this even longer. Uh, so right now this entire thing is designed to grab the top layer of containers and then take them off and put them down onto a truck. So now we'll press the three key that is going to activate our secondary pistons which are specifically designed to reach that truck down below. Uh, I just realized actually uh, we are not quite entirely lined up so why don't we actually just kind of move over this way just a little bit and that looks pretty good right right about there all right so we're gonna leave that right there we're gonna press the one key again and that is going to remove those little braces underneath the container and you should see the container will drop off just like so and then we can raise the uh, actual crane mechanism up again just like that and there we go now the container is loaded up onto the truck so let's drop it down to the truck and drive it away because this thing is just killing me with lag all right, so we're down in the truck now, and the container can very easily slide off. So that is why I actually added some securing mechanisms right there. So if we press the one key, those little arms are going to raise up just like that and clamp right onto the container, and that way it won't slide off. And now, of course, we can just drive away and bring this, this shipment of goods to who knows where, some store or shop or something like that. Uh, and there we go, finally. The lag has finally gone away and we can properly drive this thing. And now this is actually a fun little truck though, I kept it as simple as I possibly could uh, because of course of the nature of the rest of the builds here. Uh, but this thing looks really cool, it's, it's kind of cute at the same time and I love that you can actually just drop a container on it just like this. And uh, you can then of course grab your container and do whatever you want with it. So these builds are of course going to be available on the Steam Workshop guys, so make sure you go and check them out and have some fun with these ones. Now we got the cargo ship there of course, we got the cargo crane. I'm gonna mention right now though that the cargo crane, you spawn it in and you can see those yellow blocks right there. You get rid of those yellow blocks and that will cause this little mechanism here to be free floating from the rest of it and that's how you actually get the crane thing. And of course we have the cutesy cargo truck. So that is going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. If you enjoyed this build or if you did enjoy the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more Scrap Mechanic, then by all means, hit that subscribe button and maybe even turn on notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank you so much for tuning in, everybody, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.